Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Don't miss your chance to celebrate Heather Tom's 16th anniversary as Katie on The Bold and The Beautiful at a special live chat in the locker room on Wednesday, August 23, at 3 p.m. ET. Tom began her daytime career in 1990 when she was cast as Victoria Newman on The Young and The Rest Tell Yes. She then played Kelly Kramer on One Life until LIV from 2003 until 2006. And on August 30, 2007, the actress took over the part of Katie Logan on B and B, which she still plays to this day. Tom has had a hopping 19 Daytime Emmy Award nominations over her career, including nine for Y&R, two for OLTL, and eight for B&B. &B. Her win for Outstanding Lead Actress in 2012 made her the first actress to win an Emmy in all three categories, Younger, Supporting, and Lead. With six Emmys in 2020, she tied the record for most Emmys won by an actor in a daytime drama series. In addition to acting, Tom has directed short films and joined the Directors Guild of America in 2016. She has directed episodes of B and B, Y and R, Good Trouble, and D Y and A S T Y, as well as her own. She's also starred on Broadway and in primetime, so with her B and B anniversary, she'll have lots to chat about. Don't miss it. And don't forget to subscribe to the Lockter Room's YouTube channel to catch up on all of the other great live discussions with soap stars you might have missed. The YouTube shows are also accessible as audio podcasts, which can be obtained on Amazon, Apple, Google, Unhubbed Radio, Spotify, and Spreaker. Wyatt spends most of his time on the bold and T8T beautiful discussing his brother's difficult personal life, and he hasn't had any romance in a long time. Wyatt appears to be still engaged to Flo, despite the fact that she hasn't been referenced since June 2022 and hasn't been seen on TV since July 2021. Katrina Bowden made her debut as Flo Fulton in January 2019 and was quickly revealed to be Wyatt's old high school flame, which naturally positioned her as a spoiler for Wyatt and Sally's romance. Yeah, Flo was sort of doomed almost from the start, Darren Brooks, Wyatt, revealed to Soaps.Shecknose.com. After the audience had invested in Sally and Wyatt, Flo, supposedly his high school love, appeared. So, on the one side, there was this couple who had gotten into being torn apart because of a relationship that had occurred years ago and about which they knew nothing. Flo's significance on the canvas was further enhanced when it was revealed that she was one of the Logan sisters after her mother, Shona, performed a DNA test and discovered that Flo's father was indeed Storm Logan. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough to remove the character's taint from her introduction. When Flo initially came on the show, she pretended to be the mother of the infant presented to Steffi for adoption by Dr. Reese Buckingham. He'd actually kidnapped the baby from Hope and told her she'd died. Yeah. Brooks laughed. That was a hard thing for some viewers to get over. Although B and B's executive producer and head writer Bradley Bell has stated that he still considers Denise Richards, Shona, and Katrina Bowden, Flo, to be cast members, Bowden has not featured in the show in years. Richards made a brief appearance in an episode from October 2022. At this time, it appears unlikely that Wyatt and Flo's lengthy engagement would culminate in a wedding, thus it may be better if they split up, perhaps off-camera, so Wyatt can pursue a new romance. Then he'll have more to do than participate in Liam's drama. In these T80 bold and T80 beautiful spoilers, Hope's love life is more convoluted than ever. She still has feelings for Thomas, but there's something between her and Liam as well. Which way will her heart lead her? Hope threw caution to the wind and gave her to her feelings for Thomas, believing Liam would always love Steffi. While she has been divided between the two men, there are people in her life who believe the choice is simple. You have to tell Thomas it's all over, Brooke insists. 
you have no choice but to save your marriage. Hope, on the other hand, reminds her mother, Thomas loves me. As soon as Liam caught sight of Hope kissing Thomas in Rome, he turned around and kissed Steffi. While he may be eager to revisit that romance, Steffi believes he should return to Hope. Are you willing to fight for your marriage? She inquires of him. Are you willing to forgive her? Unfortunately, while Liam still loves Hope, he can't get over the fact that she chose Thomas after everything he's done to them. It's not that simple, acknowledges Liam. When they talk about the future of their relationship, Liam tells Hope, I'll always love you. She, on the other hand, immediately recognizes the implicit truth beneath his comments. But you can't forgive me, she says, sighing. Meanwhile, Thomas continues to express his affection for Hope. I love you, he declares. I do want to spend my life with you. But can Hope have a relationship with the man who has damaged her so much in the past with his lies and schemes? Or maybe she'll try to make things work with Liam. In our online poll, tell us who you think she should be dating. On B&B, &B, where does Hope fit in? Bobby Eakes is most recognized for her role as Macy Alexander on T.A. Bold and he ate he beautiful, but she also had a great stint as Crystal Carey on All My Child Ryan from 2003 until 2011. And while her performance on the ABC soap and her two daytime Emmy nominations for Outstanding Lead Actress, it's not her greatest recollection of her time in Pine Valley. I was thrilled to get two Emmy nominations, Eek told Soap Opera Digest, but the biggest compliment or accolade came one day on the set when I was fairly new. Carol Burnett was waiting in the wings when I was executing this comedy sequence. The Hollywood legend is a known AMC fan and initially featured as Vela Grubbs, Langley Wallingford's long-lost daughter, in 1983. Burnett appeared as Vela on the Soap's anniversary episodes and even returned in 2001, when the iconic daytime drama's run on ABC was coming to an end. Burnett made one final appearance on AMC as the show's run came to an end. She was visiting, Eeks explained, and there were a few of us actors on the set at the time, and when she came out with the producers, we all stood in a receiving line. She went down the line greeting everyone, and when she got to me, I was probably the second to last person in line. The only thing she said to any of us besides hello was to me, she went on, and she said, you are such a great addition to the show. I nearly died. I was so tongue-tied, but I'll take that as one of the highest compliments I've ever had as an actor. I wish I could see her again and tell her how much she meant to me. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.